Hi friends, if you are a golfer, a tennis player, or an athlete that is looking to improve their grip strength, and if you are also a hand balancer, these series of nerve flossing drills are going to help you in your practice or in your sport, whatever that may be. So we're gonna begin by bringing our arms in front of us, and I want you to form a fist. Try to make sure that this pinky knuckle doesn't drop down. I want you to try to align the knuckles as best as you can. As you form that fist, I want you to place maximum effort here, really clenching through the fist. And we're really targeting the ulnar nerve, the medial nerve, and the radial nerve. And this is a great way to warm up your wrist flexors, your wrist extensors for any movement practice. And then just shake out the wrists. Awesome work. From here, we are going to take our arms in front of us. Now, I want you to begin to come into that wrist flexion, making sure that this movement is coming from the wrists. And I want you to try, and I want you to imagine as if your fingers want to touch your forearms here. Keep reaching through the fingers. Don't try to overexert yourself. And then bring the fingers above. Take this into wrist extension. Then leading with the pinky, turn the palms up, rotating through the arm bones. Clench your hands into fists. We're back to our starting position, palms facing down. We'll do that two more times, just like that. Reach towards your forearms with your fingers. Come into that flexion. And reach the fingers up into that wrist extension. Lead with the pinky, palms facing up, rotating through the arm bones. Clench your hands into fists. Rotate the arm bones again to return to our starting position. One more time, just like that, you're doing great. Reach your fingers towards your forearms. Then come into that wrist extension. Lead with the pinky, turn the palms up, clench into a fist, back to our starting position. Awesome work, go ahead and shake out through the arms. Now we are going to target our radial nerve. So I want you to take your right hand and I want you to cross your thumb right across the palm of your right hand. Now I want you to flex that right palm, bring that right palm, lock out the elbow, then slight internal rotation of that arm bone, abduct it slightly, now I want you to take your left palm and try to depress that right shoulder blade and retract that right shoulder blade. Use that left palm to keep that shoulder nice and stable. From here, I want you to lower down your left ear towards your left shoulder and go ahead and maybe even do this movement with your neck. You're gonna feel this sensation from your wrists all the way up to your neck. So just go slow, go gentle. Beautiful. Now just keep doing this until you feel subtle, and then release whenever you want. We're gonna do that again, this time with our left hand. So I want you to cross your thumb across that left palm. Now I want you to flex that left hand, internally rotate that arm bone, abduct that left arm slightly towards the left side, almost as if that left arm wants to move away from your body. Take your right palm this time, and I want you to depress the scapula, that left shoulder, down, away from your ears, then retract that left shoulder blade by rolling that left shoulder blade back. From here, lower your right ear towards your right shoulder, and go ahead and just begin this movement. Maybe you even rotate from the neck, from the cervical spine. And you should feel the sensation from your wrists all the way up through the left side of your neck. You can even close your eyes just to get into the movement a little bit more. You don't want to overstretch the radial nerve. You just want to feel that sensation so it's just right. Connect your breath to your movement. 
Keep that left shoulder blade down in its position. Awesome work. Release. Go ahead and shake it out. So now we are going to target the median nerve. So I want you to take your right palm once again, and you are going to bring this right wrist into extension. Find a neutral stance. Then from here, I want you to externally rotate. So you're opening up a jar with that right wrist. Then you're going to slightly abduct, bringing this right arm away from the body. Take your left palm and depress that right shoulder blade down and retract that right shoulder blade using that left hand to make sure that right shoulder blade stays into place. Now from here, as that wrist is into extension, I want you to drop your left ear down towards your left shoulder and begin to floss. Maybe you rotate slightly, you'll feel the sensation from your fingertips all the way up to your neck. Do this for a couple of more rounds or whenever you feel ready. Just let it feel nice. Then release. Now we're going to move on to that left wrist. So I want you to take that left wrist into extension. Now externally rotate. Imagine that you're opening up a jar with that left wrist this time. Really spinning the eyes of the elbows forward. Then abduct, moving that left arm away from the body. Take your right palm and use that right palm to push that left shoulder blade into its place. Depress that left shoulder. Retract that left shoulder blade. Now bring your right ear towards your right shoulder and begin to floss. Moving your neck up and down, rotating. Making sure that you're not overexerting your nerves, just getting the sensation there. Keep extending out through that left wrist. Beautiful work. Go ahead and shake out the wrists. Roll the shoulder blades back a couple of times. Now, a really great way to also work into the wrists especially if we are using the wrists for power, for grip, for bearing any kind of weight, we're going to do these wrist glides, these simple wrist glides. And this is really important for doing this before and after your practice. So we're going to take our hands into fists, and I want this movement to come from the wrist and not from the knuckles. So we're just going to simply glide it up and down, making sure that the arm is straight. We're going to do that on the right wrist as well. Keep the elbows locked. Make sure that this, I know this is quite challenging to make sure that this is coming from the wrists and not from the knuckles. And then taking these wrist glides into lateral glides. So take your arms in front of you. Make sure that this movement is coming from the wrists and not from the knuckles once again. Keep your elbows locked out in a neutral stance and just glide. Almost imagine as if you're cleaning the surface of your table. Then release, draw some figure eights. And now you're ready for your movement practice, whether you're playing tennis, golf, or going into your handstand practice. Know that you could always come back to this practice whenever you need to warm up your wrists and your arms. I hope that you enjoy this practice and I hope that this has helped you in your movement, whatever that is. So please leave a comment in the comment box below. I would love to hear from you. Have fun and notice how much more grounded your wrists and your fingers feel when you make contact with your racket, your golf club, or to the earth. Thank you so much.